Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manjana Chandraya. Today's session we'll be learning left, right, mid and length functions. So I have a data here, serial number, customer name, column C as state, company and mobile number all combined in column C. So what we are trying to do is trying to get the state, company and mobile into different columns. So I need state in D column, company in E column, mobile number in F column. So how can we get this combined cells into a different columns using this left, right and mid functions. So first of all we need to know what is left, right and mid and length functions. So left is the function pulls left side characters in a particular cell. Say in this column C2, the left function what it does, it starts searching from, from this side. Say AP, iPhone, 1001, so on it goes to the end using the left function. Whereas the right function pulls the right side characters in a particular cell. So it, the right function what it does, it start checking from this side. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0, so on to this end. So middle function pulls the middle characters in a particular cell. Say in this C column, you can see the state is in, in the left side, mobile number in the right side, the company code is in the middle. To pull the company code, you can use the mid functions. Len is nothing but the function returns the number of characters in a given text or a cell. So what it does is when you use this function, it calculates how many characters in this particular cell. It includes alphabets, number, special characters, space, anything, any other characters also counts and gives the number of characters in this particular cell. So let's start using the function to get all this state company in mobile number. Let's use left function because we need to get the state. So the left function fun work from left hand side. So let's use left here, LFT, open bracket. So you can use the insert function. So it is a, it gives a function argument. So we can know what we need to put in this particular box. So it says text. So let's select the C2. So now it has selected here. So number of characters. So you need to know how many characters you are trying to pull. So state is in two characters you can see the APR, BR so we'll select two here as you put two characters it gives the result immediately here so we know what result it's going to give using these parameters so let's click OK so before copying the formula down you should remember whether the all the rows having the same characters say you say APR2, R, BR, CG so once everything is same this formula will pick so this for example the year it has three characters it will only pick the two characters so make sure that just check everything has constant two characters so now it is everything is fine so we'll drag this formula down right so you can see this it has pulled all the characters here so we got the state let use write to function to use get the mobile numbers so let's use in the equals arrange to right open bracket use this insert function so it's as text as usual select c2 so number of characters so do remember so how many characters you're trying to pull so this is a member number obviously as 10 digits i can use 10 so example you have another number we're not sure just keep putting the number and see what result it is coming here so you can increase the characters so i use 10 i know this mobile number as 10 digits okay so just click OK. So now you can see it has taken. Now you can what we do, we pull this down or copy the formula down. Now it has taken correctly. So we got the state as well as the mobile number. We need to pull the company code. So it is in middle. So we use the mid function. MID mid open bracket insert function. So here you have one more of box so let's select text as usual it says start number start number is nothing but from from when you need to pull the which from which number we need to pull the characters say so i need the company code so it's let's count so we'll go here so ap a is one character p two characters iphone three characters one is the fourth character we need to pull from fourth character so we'll give four here so number of characters you need to get it's nothing but so you know company code has four characters you see 1001 so i can give four directly here now you can see this 
in case if you don't know you can just keep on giving to see it's taking something so add the increase the number again increase so you can know how many characters you need it using this function argument so now now it is fine let's click ok copy or drag this formula down now you can see the company code is pulled so everything is in formula now so if you want to keep it the formula you can keep otherwise select this entire range copy space special values so the formulas will go off the the values remains very simple guys only thing you need to know whether it is a constant characters so what about len so just insert a column here so it says it counts the number of characters in a cell let's say the mobile number has 10 characters if you put this formula len i should get 10 characters let's say it's ask only one option select the text now you can see the result here 10 so it gives it 10 characters so you can drag this down it gives 10 characters let change to company obviously it should be four characters so it gives four characters so you can double click this it will take down for the ap len set to characters usually len used with uh, other functions it's combined function they use len in the left function or right or mid uh, do a multiple uh, data so this is a basic we can use to know how many characters in a cell and very simple guys hope uh, this video was interesting if you think the video is interesting kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and learnings thank you again happy learning